Good evening, everybody. Welcome to day 55 of my carnivore diet. Um, another good day today was really, really strict. I didn't eat as much as yesterday, um, but I was very strict today again. I did have one, a half of a cup of coffee this morning, um, but that's it. That was my little treat for the weekend, and now I'm, I'm actually I didn't feel very well afterwards, and um, I don't know if just from not having it already that it had something, or maybe it was something with the milk. I don't know, or maybe it was just psychosomatic because I knew I shouldn't be having it, and I did it anyway. Um, so it was a tiny little slip up, but I didn't like I said I didn't even drink a whole cup. Um, so yeah. The struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. Um, anyway, um, it looks like my running in the gym had a massive effect. I nearly dropped a kilo. Um, but I suspect that that's purely water weight. So I don't think that's making any difference. I won't, I won't um, really think that I've moved on from my plateau until I've seen a few days where it actually continues to then fall again. And I need to have some electrolytes again and, and see how that has um, some, what impact that has. But uh, macros for today, so 94.5 kilos. I had 82 sleep score last night and nearly eight hours of sleep. So that was really good. I had some really vivid dreams. Um, I don't really remember what they were. I do remember I was living in Paris, but I don't remember anything other than that. Um but yeah, which is kind of unusual. Um, and got my step count in today. Um, I did go to the gym. I did half an hour on the treadmill today. And then my knee started to get a little bit sore. And so I stopped. And then I went and did some leg work um, as well. So I don't expect to really see too much difference tomorrow um, in the weight from the workout. Because the the weights that I did for my legs will offset any anything that maybe I sweated out. So I expect I'll be pretty much the same tomorrow. But I was under 20 grams of carbs again today. So that's one, two, three, four, five days out of the last seven. I've been below um, 20 grams of carbs. So that's pretty good. Keeping the the carb count really low. The only thing I really have, like I've said before, is sometimes I have a few peanuts or sometimes I have a little bit of milk. So that's that's really it. Um, I don't have anything else. Sometimes if I if when I was drinking coffee, I would have a little like a half a teaspoon of sugar, which obviously was was pure carbs, but I haven't even had that lately. So yeah. So the macros look pretty good. I was pretty happy with with my performance in the gym just on the treadmill um, I upped the speed a little bit and pushed it a little bit harder today I don't think that the the pain that I had in my knee tonight and the, it, it didn't get too bad I stopped before it got really bad this time but it's in a it's a totally different pain um, than I was experiencing before so I think that's just me getting used to running again and I expect that I'll probably have this for maybe up to a month before my body really starts to settle down and get back into the flow of things. But I sort of took a lesson from that, that maybe I shouldn't try and do that every day, even though I really, really want to. Um, I need to just be patient and I need to be calm and I need to take it easy because I don't want to injure myself again. So anyway, I want to... I really need to switch to the do in one day of running and one day of weight training, but I just I'm I'm actually itching to to run and to start to build my cardio fitness back up because it's it's appalling from what it used to be from going from running the half marathon to now not even being able to run thirty minutes without stopping a couple of times for, for just for a couple of seconds is is really frustrating and annoying and humbling and any other word you can think of like that so the positive spin I'm putting on it is that it gives me a chance to go after all those goals again so I have a whole list of goals that I went for when I started out running and 
I can basically just zero out all those goals and just pretend that I'm starting from scratch. So hopefully those first few goals will be pretty easy to hit because I'm not starting from scratch, but it certainly feels that way. Um, which is why I haven't even tried to run 5k yet. I'm just running for time right now. I'm just running half an hour just so my body can get used to it. And I want to see how I feel before I then start saying, okay, I actually want to do the extra, you know, 10 or 12 minutes or whatever it takes to, to get the extra Ks in to, to get the 5k. So I'm trying to be calm and I'm trying to be patient about everything. That's pretty much it for today. Um, You'll notice I have a t-shirt on today instead of a hoodie. Um, I had someone comment, and, and I've had some comments in some of the older videos where people said I shouldn't wear the hoodie, um, or I shouldn't wear so many hoodies because it's not flattering. So here you go. If you're watching, I don't have a hoodie on. The only reason I really wear hoodies all the time is because, frankly, it's cold and wet, and it's wintertime, and it's dark in the UK. And most of these videos I record at like 11 o'clock at night because it's right at the end of the day. And I'm at home, I'm relaxed, I've already changed into my home wear. And I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm wearing sweats. And so that's pretty much how it is. Um, but I do take the point. There is a bit of hiding in the big sweats, which we've talked about before. And all the body image stuff that goes with it. And in my daily wear, sort of going to work and that sort of thing, I'm trying to not hide under hoodies as much, so I probably shouldn't do the same um, at night for the videos, so I will try to, I will endeavor to um, do better and wear fewer hoodies, but that's going to get easier. As summer comes, I'm going to be in a t-shirt because it's, then it's going to be hot in here and we don't have air conditioning or anything, so if it gets really warm, the windows are going to be open, it's going to be super hot, so it's, you know, we just have to deal with what the weather is. Um, I think that's it for tonight. I do still want to get to that Netflix um, movie or film, the, the documentary that I watched. Um, I was going to do it tonight, but I just didn't get around to it, frankly. Um, and I did the gym and I wanted to talk about that and everything instead. And I still want to keep these fairly short, so I didn't. I don't want to end up doing half an hour, um, unless everybody wants me to waffle on more than that and be a little bit more prepared. But the idea is just to do a quick thing every night. Anyway, um, that's it for today. So I hope everybody's all right. I hope you're sticking to your diets. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you just want some support or suggestions. Anything else? I'm. I'm. Uh, I try to reply to everybody at the minute. Um, I know they say never read the comments, but I like reading the comments because a lot of people have had some very helpful tips for me. So as long as everybody's nice, I'll keep reading the comments. If I start getting a bunch of people, you know, um, trolling me and whatever, then I'll just stop reading the comments and that'll be the end of that. But um, for now, I really enjoy it. This has been a super supportive community and I really like it. So um, yeah, let me know if you're out there and if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Anyway. That's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. -bye.